It's a beautiful place, yes. Anything come in, anything that would receive for eat, for lunch, you can get it and bring it here. And eat, that's where the shade we leave the dinner camp. We eat things there. See? When we get everything up from here or elsewhere from here, we bring it here and eat there. Enjoy a feed up here with families. Just tell a story, tell the story about this land and how they get fish and how the fish came in and what time the tides come in. It's on the lucky day where you have the tides coming, you had lots of fish. See, fish or a crab, we call it awala, long bum. See, you boil it up or you cook it in ashes. You take it out when you nice and cook, you tap it, kill it with a hammer or whatever, stone. But take the thing, meat, and put it on your mouth from this shell. You pull it out, and you eat it. When you eat it, the medicine go everywhere in you. You are gura. You are gura. There's a muscle. See? Oh, in the mangrove. And you find this one. It's come out on about the edge. Then you put stick on it, and you lift it up. Stick or knife or whatever things you have. You take it out from the mud and you can clean it up, put it in a bowl and walk again. Pick it up all the way till your bag full. You come back to the dinner camp. See? You just, just, just open like this sound, little, little funny noise, you know? And you take that thing out, make the noise with your with your spoon or fork or whatever, take the meat out and put it in a clean plate. If we, if we like that shape, see? When you eat it, ah, oh, just like when you're eating a roast chicken. You eat it, you go just like water inside you. You walk about that way. Yeah, you can walk along here. See? Just like a hoister. Live in mangroves. Hoister. You can see it? Let the world see it. So they know what we mean about this hoister. Mangrove jack. Mangrove hoister. No, mangrove jack. It's a mangrove hoister. This one. See? Oh, yummy. People might say yummy. See? I know they say yummy of the crab. When you're here, you don't spend your dollar. You get it for yourself and boil it for yourself. It's a freedom. If you can make yourself like that, like us, all right. You can be number one. See? Number one. Come on, my friend. I'll show you around again. Come on, mammals. Whatever mammals you call it or what? Crocodile, isn't it? It's a reptile. Sorry about that, using a different words. I mean names. Reptiles. Now, this area we can search. You can see there, hole where we sleep. It makes funny noise when you touch it with the wire. It's like that. So you know the owl is there. So you press it more and bring it out. Eh? He just touches it and bring it out. And he take the claws, whatever, or step it in the right place so he can just put his claw like that and carry it in the back. <laughs> Wonderful, eh? Beautiful, eh, man? It's a beautiful place, yes. You can go around here if you want to. Come around. I want some crap. Please, all people, give me one or two. Awala. You can say it to them like that. They're listening. The power listening. It's their power coming to us. You say, please, I need some hakwaya or awala. If I had a peace place, big place like that, 
it's your feeding where you can feed, have a good feed in the lunch. But as it is now, it's right down low. If we would have been come earlier, where you had the big tide, you see everything there. That's where he was lying. The stingray, Imadwaya, Imarpira, or Durimba, all them fish, stingray, style of that. If you make noise like that, he gone. Only first noise you make it. You make first noise. Now you're dead still. You're dead still. You're gonna watch every stick. That stick, the stick, that stick. The soul on the tail moves slowly, shaking himself, ready to whew. <laughs> Just gone. So where's your meat? You're gonna look for meat more, fresh one. You won't go that way because someone waiting for you there for meat. <laughs> you know what I mean? The wildlife. Wonderful day, my friend. Enjoy your story. Thank you very much.